Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you the truth behind Alex Bocchini and why Wizards of the Coast, including many personalities and many employees of Wizards of the Clo Coast, Mero included, Mark Rosewater, support Alex Bocchini and they encourage him to cheat. Now, Alex Bocchini, his long storied history, he's been banned two times, he's been caught on camera multiple times and he has returned to cheat yet again. So you figured that after a second ban, he would not return, or would at least not try to cheat as obviously as he did, but he did. What, what type of mentality do you have to be caught cheating on camera multiple times and then return after your second ban? Not one ban, this is his return after his second ban. Let's get into why Wizard of Coast would ever want this guy back in Magic. It's very simple. Since the beginning of Wizard of Coast, I played Magic since beta. Since the very beginning, we had villains in Magic. And one of the biggest villains was Mike Long. Mike Long was the number one pick for the Hall of Fame of Mark Rosewater. Over and over again, Mark Rosewater wanted this guy in the Hall of Fame. Mike Long has cheated. He is one of the, if not the best cheater in Magic the Gathering history. Luckily for him, we didn't really have cameras or footage or any of that type of stuff. But you talk to anyone in the pro scene, even Inquest Magazine made funny, and Star City Games. I mean, everyone has documented funny stories involving Mike Long. My favorite story of Mike Long was when he played Mark Justice, also a notable cheater like Mark Rosewater loves to death. And Mark Justice slams the table really hard of a card and this drops both dices. Mark Justice goes from 10 life to 15 life. And Mike Long, while Mark Justice is resetting, trying to cheat and reset his die, takes his die and goes from like nine life to 20 life. And Mark Justice is not amused, he calls a judge but of course he called the judge on himself and then he had to leave with his tail behind his butt. And that's my favorite story because it shows you how interesting magic was back in the day. And many people in the community agree with Mero. They feel like because the Hall of Fame is not the Hall of Goody Guys, Mike Long deserves a spot that is rightfully his because shady or not, he done a hell of a lot for the game. And just like you can't tell the story of Superman without mentioning Lex Luthor, you can't tell the story of Magic without Mike Long. And that is correct. That is correct. So you have to understand Wizard of the Coast. It's a bunch of people who love comic books and are generally giant nerds. So to them, they need a villain. They need a villain who's cheating and who is a compulsive liar. The Lex Luthor of the game. You cannot have a John Finkel without a Mike Long. That's just fact for Wizard of the Coast. So that gets me to Alex Bacchini. Hmm. Why is MTG headquarters banned for life? Why is Travis Wu banned for a year, although he didn't cheat and Alex is back? Simple. Travis is not the villain that you need. He's not a villain. He said some stuff that is not right and I do not support. And occasionally he's not careful in how he presents certain things. And, I and maybe you could make the argument that he should have been a better moderator for the Magic for Good or Magic for Bad group. But he's not a villain because he doesn't have... I mean, we think of Alex Percini. I think of a person banned two times and now he's back to cheat or some more. I don't think of Travis in any anywhere where close to that in terms of how notorious he is. Now, HQ offended a lot of people, did not cheat, and is banned for life. This guy is a compulsive liar and cheater, and he is promoted. I have evidence, and I'm going to present it really qu quickly. So Rachel is his girlfriend, significant other, fiance. I'm not sure what the relationship is, but they've been together for a long time. Rachel is supported by Wizards of the Coast on the Vintage League. Rachel is in that picture with Rudy. And 
somebody told Rudy that it was a good idea to have dinner with Rachel and Alex. And Alex is in one of Rudy's videos talking about Wizard of the Coast, not in a positive way. Yet, yeah, Wizard Coast needs Alex. They need him. They want him to come to GP Vegas. They want him to be in every single GP because people will say he is a villain and he is a very good villain because he doesn't give up. For you to be banned means you have to be cheat multiple times. For you to be caught meant you had to cheat multiple times. And the fact that he was caught two times tells me that it's just insane. Like, okay, you got banned one time for cheating. You come back and you get banned a second time and you come back again. What is the mentality? What? How? That is a villain's mentality. That is Mike Long. Mike Long was exactly like Alex Pacini and he was a villain that Wizard of Coast so badly wanted and so badly needed for their storytelling. So let's be honest here. Let's just be point blank honest with ourselves. Magic the Gathering is about storytelling. You cannot have John Finkel without Mike Long. You cannot have the magic pros we have today like LSV and all these other people without Alex Bracini. Alex Bracini, he is a essential part of the Magic the Gathering story. He has to be. This guy won Power 9. He won every Star City Games event. He was just a monster because you could not beat him. He would not allow you to beat him. And he got banned twice. That's also part of this. Like, just like how Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire, they're part of the story. Well, so is Alex Bracini and so is Mike Long. Does that suck for Magic players who believe that playing fair and not cheating or is a way to go? Yeah, that does suck for Magic players who believe that. But at the end of the day, Wizard of the Coast doesn't care about you guys. They do not care about its magic player base. They care about the story. And the story is Alex Bercini is the villain and he will be slayed again by the hero, which is Mark Rosewater. Mark Rosewater and the DCI will take immense credit and people will give them Reddit gold and clap their hands when we ban Alex for the third time, only for them to come back and us to have this exact discussion a few years down the road. I find it so insane that they would give MTG headquarters a life, Jeremy on sleeve, whatever he's calling himself now, a lifetime ban. And they wouldn't ban this guy for life. This guy is so out there. They not only ban him, I'm sure they send him free products. I'm sure they fly him out places. I will go on a ledge and say this. He has a huge fan base. On his Facebook. Yeah, he has a huge fan base that loves him because he wins. And when you look at Barry Bonds, when you look at Lawrence Armstrong, they had fan bases too that kept with them and they were even more ingrained after he got banned, after it came out that he was cheating, that they were cheating. And that is what happened. Alex Bercini is the definition of a villain in magic. And Mark Rosewater, who wrote Roseanne, knows he's a screenwriter in Hollywood, is all about writing villains. And HQ does not fall into a villain. He falls into kind of a, a offensive character who is, you know, just offensive. But he's not the villain. Alex is the villain. And that is a story that Mark Rosewater wants to tell. Anyway, bye guys.